What is going on guys? So before I start this video and start talking about the topic of the video, I'm going to preface the whole video by just saying if this offends you at all, I'm sorry, but this is just my personal opinion on things. People have asked me and I thought I would just put a concise video together on my thoughts. And like I said, if this upsets you, I apologize, but it should not. This is just my opinion, like I said, so who really cares in the long run, right? Anyways, guys, the topic of steroids and performance enhancing drugs in general, pro hormones, whatever. The thing about it is, in my opinion, and the way I kind of look at it is, for anyone who's going to be taking them, who has elite powerlifting world records and untested federations they're going after, they're going after a IFBB pro card, they're going after Mr. Olympia, they want to win pro shows in the IFBB, or just someone who is crazy and really doesn't care, that if that's you, then yes, you probably are going to have to take performance-enhancing drugs of some kind. But other than that, if you're just an average person, myself included, I'm nothing special, I just lift weights, there's no reason for you to put your health in jeopardy at a young age especially. Now, if you're talking about testosterone replacement therapy when you're at an older age and your natural production of testosterone goes down, that's totally different. That's administered by a doctor. But looking at it from just a logical standpoint, if I'm taking something that is definitely illegal because I'm young and there's no way a doctor would ever be administering the amounts you'd be taking, you're essentially not only putting yourself at risk legally, you're also putting your health at risk because the person or guru or whoever coach that you're getting the protocol from, or if you're looking it up and doing it on your own online, is inaccurate. And if they are accurate, well, Godspeed to you. But my whole thing is, that's the equivalent to you saying you just have a really good coke dealer on the street or you have a really good weed guy. That's up to your discretion. And I don't think you're going to be knowing what that effect really has on your body until you're 50 or 60 and looking at a lot of these people who have taken steroids back in the golden era and have now passed away a lot of them probably were doing a little bit of a guessing game with themselves which is essentially what you're doing and what your coach or guru or whoever it is is doing and if they're a doctor well then that's crazy because they're probably doing it illegally like i said guys the thing about it is what i don't understand people in the mindset people have is you winning some local show and you taking a ton of gear to do so, what is the value in that? For me, long-term health and the natural gains and the natural muscle I can put on, natural strength I can put on, it is way more beneficial and way more enjoyable for me than thinking about the little bit of progress I would be making or the little bit of muscle I'd be making, the little bit of strength I'd be putting on by taking something. I don't want to lose years off my life. When people ask me all the time, they say, hey, Joe, what, do you, what motivates you? What are you doing all this for? What, why do you always make these videos? What drives you to do what you do with your business at such a young age? All those sorts of things, which are great. I'm like, I want to have a good life for my family and for my kids. And if that means that I basically won't get as big because I don't take steroids, but it means I'll be able to spend a little bit longer with my family or I can at least hope that it will, or not put myself at a chance to lose years off my life, why wouldn't I do that? And for me to think, like I said, just put myself in the position of buying something like that and going that route is just crazy to me. So that's just my personal opinion on it. Like I said, I literally think about it like drugs. Like I literally could care less. I have friends, literally friends who do coke. I have people that are acquaintances of mine that do all sorts of drugs. I have friends who do all sorts of drugs. I don't care what you do with your life. But the thing about it is, guys, it's not for me. And like I said, I'm not ridiculing anyone who's done it. Like I said, it might be for a lot of people. But for me, for my clients, I'll tell you straight up, I'll never coach anyone who's on steroids because I don't know enough about someone who's on steroids to be able to like give you a good estimate of what you should be doing and I don't really know enough about what I'm doing with steroids to be saying, hey, this is what is the best for you. I don't know because that is not something I've ever experienced. I know the route I've taken and I know the route I've put people on and gotten results from that. And I can get you those same results, but I don't know how to do it when you're throwing other variables in the mix that I'm not familiar with. 
Like I said, there's people out there who do know how to do that. And even then, in my opinion, that's just a little leery to me. You're taking a risk. And a good coach or a good guru will tell you that. Um, and I kind of was probably being a little bit more rash than I should have been earlier about those so sorts of people who go about that because there's a lot of people who out there who do it right. Um, but even then, the people that they're doing it with, their clients that they're working with, know that there's a risk at hand. And that's something that, like I said, someone who is doing that and running someone through a protocol will make apparent for that person. And they wouldn't put them through something that they didn't want to do. Like I said, because there's a lot of people out there who you need that if you want to become that elite level bodybuilder, you want to become that elite level power lifter in an untested federation. That's kind of a given. So my whole point with this is for someone who's just a normal average person, I would not recommend it and I don't recommend it and I'll never do it for myself just simply to win some local show or to maybe win my IFBB pro card. Um, that's just not what I want for my life. Like I said, to each its own, everyone has a different thing that they want out of their life and everyone has different sort of values that they have when it comes to everything. So this is just one niche of that where a lot of people might have disagreements. So that's my opinion. Do what you want to do. Like I said, um, it's just not for me, not something I'll ever do because I don't want to put any of my future um, health at risk, really. Um, and, and everything um, in life, there's, there's no guarantees, as everyone says. So um, that's just not the approach I want to take. So anyways, guys, please like the video if you um, liked it. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. But Drop some comments below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Um, if you agree with me, if you hate me after this video, if you disagree with me, um, whatever. Let me know below. I want to hear it. And um, don't, be, don't be too mean to each other or me. But, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching if you're still watching. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.